It's Beer O'Clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie du Dessel in Canada. It's a bottle of the Peche Mortel. It's an Imperial Coffee Stout coming in at 9.5% ABV. Sounds fantastic. You've seen the label. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Let me show you the, the bottle cap for one moment. First beer that I've ever tried from this brewery, Ducelle. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Oh, it's actually a twist off. The reason why the cap kind of got a bit caught up there before coming off is because it's a twist off cap. Let's see what this Imperial Coffee Stout looks like in the glass. Oh my goodness me, look at this. Jet black with a lovely tan coloured coffee head pouring out. Gonna get all of that beer in there. It looked lovely and gloopy and thick. Nice over the carbonation. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get the aroma. My goodness me, the, the coffee is bursting through in this beer. Lactose espresso coffee. Oh, it smells wonderful. I have to dive into this one. There's some caramel flavours, a little bit of coconut, some fig. Oh, it smells great. Cheers. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, it's been a while. It's been a long while since I've had an Imperial Stout like this. My goodness me. First of all, let me tell you about my favorite aspect of an Imperial Stout, and that is that big, thick, bold body that you get with them. And this has it in abundance. If you gave me this glass of beer, in a blind taste test, I would be convinced it was a Scandinavian style Imperial style. That classic big, thick, gloopy beer that the Scandinavians produce in the Imperial styles, of course. Um, it, it, this is absolutely fantastic in the taste. Lots of bitterness, lots of coffee coming through on the back end. Let's go again. Mmm. It's super rich, super rich beer. There's almost whiskey characters to the beer that kind of pull through. And that's from the alcohol in the beer, of course. Uh, there's some oaky flavors somehow, lots of coconut flavors. It's lactose -y. lots of coffee, lots of coffee bitterness. Um, it, this is truly one of the, the best Imperial Stouts I think I've ever tried on the channel. It's wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, so, uh, they're called Brasserie du Dessel. Sounds very French. Of course, it's probably French Canadian. If this is what Canadian beer tastes like, then, then I want more and I want it all of the time. Amazing stuff. This, this even kind of quite a bit of carbonation hiding, lurking around behind that big thick bold flavour. That big body I mean in the flavour. I think you know what I'm talking about. But that carbonation kind of zings and tickles the palate and produces lots of kind of... It pushes the beer around and produces lots of flavour because it's pushing it on all over the palate, all over your taste buds, on the front of your lips, the top of your mouth, the back of your throat. And it just, it just pushes the beer into the areas where maybe other drinks wouldn't be able to do that. And I think that's what's great about beer. It's also very kind of vinous. It's a red wine quality to this beer somehow. It's figgy. 
and plummy. So we've got some dark fruits in there as well that it's tasting of. But what a wonder, Pesh Mortel, blimey. I wonder what it, I, I'm not one for rape beer. I'm not one for beer advocate. Um, I, I very rarely look on them websites, but I'd be very interested to know just what this rates on rape beer or beer advocate. I bet it's up right dead up there in the 90s. The espresso coffee flavours are wonderful. Caramel, chocolate, bitter chocolate. Let's see what the brewery has to say. Espresso coffee is infused during the brewing of Pesh Mortel, resulting in an intense dark beer with roasted malt flavours enhanced by coffee or bitter coffee. Drink with moderation. I'll drink with moderation, all right? I'm gonna drink that whole glass of beer and I'm not gonna stop until it's all gone. That's amazing. <coughs> Uh, 341 milliliter bottle is unfiltered, 9.5% ABV. Please go out and find this. I picked this up in my local brew dog. Uh, yeah, let's rate it. It's a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.